good afternoon and welcome back to my channel. I'm Debbie from Debbie's World and I know I've been vlogging already today but I always have to say that um, because it just feels like it's 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 proper then. Um, how are you all? I've had a few days off. Um, although I do label my some of my vlogs Slimming World Dailies, it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm always going to upload every single day. Now and again, I take a few days break um, and come back refreshed. I bore, my, I bore myself with my meals and my chatter and that sometimes, so I often think how boring it must be for you as well, if I'm bored. So it's been a busy and full-on week. Um, my, dad's in uh, my dad was in hospital with a mini stroke. It's been really, really busy at work. Uh, and then just the, the normal things that everyone everyone has to get on with, you know, cooking, preparing, washing up, clothes washing, everything. Um, so I just took a few days off because I started to feel a bit overwhelmed and I was missing out on my evening time um, with, by, with uploading and editing. So yeah, anyway. I'm feeling good now and I always like to share my weekends with you because my weekends are probably going to be more interesting and a little bit different to what goes on during the week. So now we come to weigh-in. I went to group on Thursday. Uh, as you know, I've been vlogging up until Sunday and i had been having a pretty good week. Um, and then all of a sudden, Monday morning, I decided to weigh myself on my own scales and I'd gained a couple of pounds from the previous Thursday and we all know that it's not ideal to weigh yourself on your own scales anyway so to see again I was it just it just really threw me off because I, I thought I'd had quite a good weekend although reflecting now uh, there could have been a couple of things that tripped me up um, but I thought, you know, I, I'd really tried my hardest while, you know, while out and about at the hospital and, and, uh, out playing my game to food optimise. Um, so Monday was like, I just went completely off track. Um, I can't even, I mean, we're, we're nearly a week later now, so I can't exactly remember what I ate, but I know I had two slices of toast for my supper, for example, um, and I had various bits of chocolate and things like that. So Monday was off track. Then I got myself back on it on Tuesday, um, but by the time it came to Thursday, uh, Thursday the 23rd of January, I had gained three and a half pounds. So that puts me at 11 stone 10 and my total weight loss is 14 stone 11 and a half pounds. So yeah, um, it's, it's really, really not easy to vlog and um, document your journey when you've had a gain or you're expecting a gain. And I think that is another reason why I stopped vlogging because by Monday, I knew that I'd be, be looking at at least, you know, a two pound gain. And to carry on vlogging, it's not easy because you're like, you're showing your food. Um, and people are then thinking the plan's not working when it's probably something, some mistake that I've made or something that I've overlooked. And that's really what I want to talk about um, quickly is uh, complacency. So I think I might have become a little bit complacent, a little bit thinking uh, I know everything about the plan, I can guess what this is, this is a free food, this is this many sins, this is a healthy extra and just not taking enough care and attention. I mean if I wasn't vlogging I probably wouldn't check the app half as much as I do and I don't check it enough in the first place um, <clears throat> because there's, there's quite often times when um, I'll just look at a chocolate bar and I think, oh, that's so many sins because I'm using the 20 calorie to one sin rule, which does work the majority of times, but sometimes there's an, an anomaly in there. And also, um, 
obviously the 20 calorie to one sin guide doesn't um, work when the food contains free food content. So there's that and then obviously I've had a couple of hiccups with what's a healthy extra and what's not. Um, and I've, I've eaten a lot more um, grapes and bananas than apples and pears or I'm including more free food which is fine I just need to keep an eye on it I do love bananas I still only have one a day though but I think while I was losing weight consistently um, I never had bananas and I hardly ever had grapes whereas I'm including them a bit more in my diet now um, so and also I've not done a lot of cooking lately um, so I'm relying on, on things that I've batch cooked previously and um, not get not coming across a lot of new recipes uh, not getting through all my batch cooking and things like that I'm playing tug with Charlie um, so yeah I've become complacent so what I need to do is shake things up Try some new things, which hopefully will be on the cards from next weekend. Uh, next weekend, all being well, I should have some time to, in, through the week, look through some recipe books and plan or plan what I'm going to make. And then next weekend, I'll do one or two things to sort of refresh my freezer stocks and refresh my sort of menu plan. And I need to be checking that out. Um, making sure I'm eating a bit more speed food and I'm not going to like panic because yeah I've gained a little bit of weight I'm currently six and a half seven pounds over the top of my target the top of my target is 11 stone three but I'm not going to panic um, I'm just going to see what happens this week and if I don't if I don't have a loss on, when I go on Thursday then um, we'll, we'll have a look at some of the other things that could be going wrong as well. But yeah, I'm going to be checking, checking the app, um, including more speed food, having some new recipes, having a new fresh start and just, just trying to keep focused. And there are things that are going to help me with that. You guys are going to help me. You're, you're going to motivate me. Um, I'm not sure whether I'm going to be recording every day, but I'll try and upload when and where I can. Um, I'll try and continue uploading to Instagram and um, all of my followers and subscribers can check the app where they can and uh, if you think I'm going wrong somewhere, then pick me up on it. Um, what else was I going to say? Yeah, and the other the other things I've got to look forward to this year, which is my uh, news, I'll come back to my dad. Somebody remind me to come back to my dad. <clears throat> so the news, what's happening in 2020 is I am climbing Snowden again. I think it's the 13th of June and we're doing it uh, in aid of the charity Mind. Um and I don't know how many of us there is doing it but there are quite there's quite a bit of interest this year we're doing it with the same or similar group of people the same organizer uh steve underscore achieve on instagram is the organizer and uh, you know there's going to be a few of us I know a couple of my uh subscribers on here have signed up so I look forward to meeting you you know who you are um we're doing it for Mind and we might possibly be doing a different track. Uh, so all being well, if I can organise Charlie and everything, um, on the 13th of June I'll be climbing Snowden again. Uh, we have also booked our 2020 May holiday. We're going back to Lime Fit Park in Windermere in the Lake District. Um, Andrew's already looking up lots of walks for us to do so that is why I'm back walking with my mum um, and hopefully um, I can do some training walks when we're in the lakes as well climbing some hills or mountains there and then we've both got 
uh, Friday the 14th of February off for Valentine's Day and I think Andrew said he's got the Saturday and Sunday off as well so we've got a lovely little weekend together coming up then we won't be going away or anything but um, we'll possibly have a meal out and it'd be nice um, to know that I'll still possibly fit into some of the dresses I've got upstairs um, and we can go out somewhere for them so yeah, we've got some nice things coming up, some exciting things. And yeah, those those things are what's going to keep me going. So I know this time is ticking away. Um, just to go back to how my dad is. I know I quickly said on Friday's vlog, but he was, dis uh, or Saturday's vlog, whichever day it was. He was discharged from hospital at lunchtime on Friday. Um, as soon as he got home he made himself a sandwich and a cup of tea so obviously the occupational therapists have been doing part of their job uh, really really well because he was able to come, come home and do that by himself um, then the occupational therapist visited him after he'd eaten that um, and uh, they're going to be visiting him every morning for the next couple of weeks and he's also getting additional help with his medication, additional visits and a pharmacist is going to come and see him because he got a bit confused about all his medication and they're going to help, um, they're going to possibly refer to social services um, about a cleaner and things like that and then when I called in on Saturday morning, um, yeah that's right, um, this, that was about quarter past nine. He'd already got dressed, trousers, top, shoes with laces, although one had come undone, so I had to help him uh, fasten one of the laces. Um, coat on and zipped up, hat on, ready to go out and meet his friend. So I literally had about 10 minutes with my dad on Saturday morning before he wanted to go off and meet his friend. Um, and he seems, he seems fine. He has slowed down a little bit more. Uh, it was it, it walked quite slowly before, but now he's is is quite slow. Oh, sorry, I'm thirsty. So we, I walked him to the bus stop so I could sort of assess how he was outside, and it can manage. It can manage, and he wants to be out. He hates being stuck in the in the in his little flat. Um, so he wants to be out and about. So. I, nobody could stop him going going out and about and I wanted to just see from, and reassure myself that he was going to be okay. So he had a coffee and a scone planned with his friend in the, on Saturday morning and a birthday party in the afternoon. So hopefully he'll give me a ring sometime this afternoon and let me know how he is uh, today if he's not too tired after after what he got up to yesterday. Um, but yeah, he, he seems to have, he has still, he still, ha his, his right hand's still not right, but he says he does feel there is some improvement. So that's all positive. Uh, we just need to try and, try and continue to make sure that he is resting enough and he's not attempting too much walking. And because uh, he was, he was doing five mile walks and regular health walks and things like that but he knows for the moment he needs to take a rest from those especially if he's going to keep up with his, his other regular activities so i think that's all my news for now um i'm not i'm going to try not to dwell too much on that gain apart from to say that i'm going to try and stay focused try and check things a bit more be a bit more aware of what's going in and out in my mouth and not just not just presuming or thinking that this little thing will be okay or or things like that um yes i'm over target um but I, i'm not gonna let it drift so hopefully in the next couple of weeks you see in the next couple of weeks i'll start going down again but you see what happened over christmas was i completely let go and that was a bit of complacency as well because I just thought that I would be able to lose it after after Christmas just by getting getting back on plan. And obviously I have lost some of it, 
um, but it's not coming off quite as quickly as I'd like. So obviously I need to work a little bit harder and um, just keep going. Keep going and never give up. Okay then guys, I'll show you what I eat for the rest of the day, but hopefully I it won't be too long a video. Or I might even upload this separately, I'll see. But I have to go and collect Andrew from work and I'll see you shortly. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.